tell you the secret. It's more like why not making the content in English? I think it's important to learn any language where you're staying. German feel comfortable when speaking English. Pride factor associated with speaking German language. If a person came here with no German language skill, can they survive? Do German judge if we don't speak right German? Go ahead, make the mistakes, get corrected, learn something new. What are you studying, Emma? I, I, I won't speak much because I think everyone wants to listen to you. They're listening to me for a long time. <laughs> And so, you speak Hindi? Uh, I don't speak much Hindi, unfortunately, as you know, if you watch the <laughs> blog. <laughs> Anyways, I study environmental sciences mm -hmm. and psychology in Lüneburg, and it's going quite well so far. I'm enjoying it. Awesome. So, Emma, when we met, and uh, I was sitting with Andrew, and he's a guy from Ukraine. Um, we both were colleagues, and Emma came new in our company. So, you're like, she doesn't look like a typical German German, so we started make guessings. Where where must be Emma from? <laughs> <laughs> really, you did? <laughs> yeah, I, I told you, you no. Know? Okay. Uh, <laughs> we well, like, where, where is Emma from? And then we start guessing. We're like, I think she look Mexican. <laughs> Interesting enough, I thought Munib is from Mexico <laughs> when oh. you entered the room. Germany, how how you are like have a very nice skin color and everything we are not that fair german has a nice skin color but you have a different one How? i will tell you the secret the secret is having a an indian dad <laughs> yeah, and a german mom which mixes to this very nice color <laughs> so if you want to have kids like emma and if you are from india or pakistan you know what to do to get married or german <laughs> what did you tell me before <laughs> so the, the the topic is do German feel comfortable <laughs> while speaking, speaking English? While speaking English? <laughs> I would say, uh, especially the older generation does not feel uh. comfortable. Um, but people our age, I guess, yes. Do. And they are uh. coming, they are coming, <laughs> they are growing up. But I, I don't think the older generation is really comfortable, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, do, do you have English language in your school or something? Of course, yeah. You do? Yeah, yeah. English and French. I had. Others, yeah. Oh. Others have Spanish, some have Russian, some have Italian, but English is very common to have as, as a second language mm. in school. So if, the, if a person came here with no German language skill, mm. can they survive? Of course they can survive. <laughs> they will like I survived. Sure survive. yeah, yeah. Like I survived. Okay. Is it important to learn German language when you're in Germany? I think so, yes. I think it's important to learn any language where you're staying. Mm. because. As Munib said, I mean, you connect through language, right? Mm. And you will always connect more to people if you mm. can speak at least a little bit of that language. And it shows you want to get to know their culture and mm. them a little bit better. So yeah. I would try, I personally would try to learn the language. It does not has, have to be perfect, mm. but I would always try to speak the language if I'm staying in the country. If I go to India, my Hindi is boosted. <laughs> and then she came back, you were like, you're okay down there. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I it's not going down. I, it's e not even at this level where it can go down <laughs> again. But every time yeah. I go there and I speak with my Chachi Nehadi, yeah. hello. <laughs> yeah, Chachi, namaste. <laughs> Most people want to know. Hmm. Do German judge if we don't speak right German? No. no. I wouldn't say so. I think it shows an effort. Yeah. And I like that, for example, when we went out, we mm. went to the restaurants, to the cafes, and I liked, I really liked that you approached the people in German. Mm. And I mean, you learn more, and they yeah. feel honored that you You're take effort. Language. Yeah. And if you don't speak, I think you don't learn. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Of course. If you don't walk as a child, how yeah. will you learn to walk? It's the same with the language. Yeah. You have to practice, and it's totally fine if you make mistakes. So that's the mentality of common German people. They really admire when you speak their language. Uh, they don't, you know, in in our culture, the, the, there's this thing we might mock people not speaking mm -hmm. the right English. Mm -hmm. But this mentality doesn't exist in Germany. They don't mock, they support you if you don't speak uh, the right German language. And there's nothing to make fun of. But there is an admiration factor that you give to the guys. Okay, you are trying mm. and it's really good that you are trying. Yes, yes. Also, I think everybody is aware that German is a hard language. Mm. It's, it's not as easy to learn as English, for example. Mm. So, they people know. So, <laughs> if you have make some mistakes, it's totally fine. fine. Yeah. 
go ahead, make the mistakes, get corrected, learn something new. <laughs> I mean, just 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 learn. Even if you make mistake, it's way better than not mistaking, not making mistake and not learning. Mm. So that was it. I think. Thank you so much, Emma. Thank you too. We're gonna see Emma in a lot more other videos, and we're gonna discuss deep down about the German <laughs> culture, how you can integrate, how you can really. You know, feel ease living in Germany and not get afraid about you know all oh, German people are this and this. We will discuss in the next podcast session. Thank you so much, Emma.